Oh, oh, have they, are they actually taking cover now? Oh, no, no, that's, that's not enough cover. <laughs> that is definitely not enough cover, you guys. Okay, guys, welcome back. Now, um, we're just going to focus on this area because, frankly, nothing has really happened anywhere else. In fact, I think it's either the next turn or maybe the turn after when I left you guys last, but whichever it is. Uh, basically, I think we've got two battles to fight this turn. One is to take Tharbad, which, as you can see, is being besieged by Bailed and his army. I wasn't quite finished building the siege equipment, but then, like, I took a look at the garrison, and it's only three units. And, uh, the reinforcements that were standing outside of Tharbad when I first besieged it just have just kind of left. So I think with the equipment we have now, we should be able to take it, and it won't be that big of a deal. I even splurged and, uh, bought some Mariador, or not Mariador, Ariador Rider Mercenaries, which are really expensive. Because I thought we were going to have to have them, like, intercept the reinforcements as they, you know, tried to lift the siege. But it turns out, no, I think they just left. In fact, is this them here? Uh, I think it was slightly larger than three units, but maybe it was just them. Or maybe the other reinforcements are elsewhere. But anyway, that's one, fa one battle we'll fight. And the other one is over here. Now... Waka has been pursuing the Tharbad forces and has pursued them all the way back to Austin Edhill. He actually attacked this army once, or this small detachment once, and so now he can attack them again, of course. He's within range, which means we should get a battle here, uh, not only with that little force here, but also with the forces that are in Austin Edhill. Which means we have the potential, at least, to take the place this turn as well, and just eliminate Tharbad in this region. Which it would be really nice. We've definitely got Tharbad on the ropes now, which is great. That's definitely what we want. So now, the only question, I guess, is which to do first. I guess I was having Waka attack first, so I guess maybe we should just have him actually finish the deed. Alright, a couple of bowmen, spears of the bridge. I didn't actually take a close enough look at these guys, they really ought to have. More archers, and I bet you, I assume this guy's another merchant guard. Yes, okay, so infantry. They don't really have much in the way of cavalry then, do they? They have that merchant scout unit, and that's it. Alright, well that's good. Maybe we can actually get our cavalry in behind them for once and actually try and take them out. Though archers in this mod are definitely tougher to take out. It's not like cavalry can just, like, automatically just immediately beat them. There, there is a bit of fighting that goes on. But anyway, let's go get them. Okay, guys, welcome to the battle. It looks like they have started off reasonably close to their reinforcements. These guys, I assume... Oh, wow, the edge of the map is really right here. I'm sure they'll go and join them over there. Okay, yes, I was going to say. Some of the units were going in that direction, but then some weren't, so I was a little confused there. In fact, um... Where's this archer unit going? They almost seem to be heading towards... Well, us. Which seems quite silly to me. Let's go greet them, then. Oh, oh, no, they, they wised up. They realized their mistake. All right, go back over here. Oh, maybe they were just moving to the end of the line here anyways. They weren't actually just heading towards us with reckless disregard for their own lives. All right, but it looks like the AI is going to hold back. So, I guess we are going to have to move forward. And it looks like it is going to be a few minutes before we actually kind of get in position here. So, I'll probably just bring you guys back once we are ready to fight them. Okay, guys. Welcome back. 
So as you can see, we have moved forward from our position back there. The enemy has arrayed themselves before us there. Now what I would like to do... ...is actually get my archers out here. Basically open fire on their archers and I guess draw the fire away from our infantry. Now we do have cavalry over there though, so I think what I'd also like to do is have both of my pike units come out here. And then, let's see, we'll grab... Everyone else. And just kind of start moving them forward. Okay, I don't think that's close enough for us to fire at them, so... Oh, wait. Yes, it is. We are firing at them. All right, very good. Just open fire, then. I don't know why I had the pikemen so far back. If they're going to defend the archers, they need to be a little closer than that. All right, you guys fire here now. Wow, we've actually mostly eliminated them already. In fact, I would say we've eliminated them to the point that we should probably stop wasting our arrow fire on them. Let's actually have the cavalry just kind of drive them away and maybe even lure the, uh, the infantry back towards us. We'll have these guys just kind of sit over here. Okay, retreat, retreat. Okay, archers, you guys can open fire again. Okay, let's have the pikemen just kind of sit here on the flank now. All right, what have we got? Spears of the Bridge, the Mariners are there, Swordsmen, Militia. And yes, we got the Merchant Garden stuff back there. All right, let's get the Javelin Cavalry over here, and we'll just kind of harass this flank with them while the archers kind of hit the center here. I guess we'll just have these guys kind of line up over here, basically facing the enemy. Just kind of watching that flank. Now let's have the archers pull back just a bit, because while it looks like they're just turning to face the cavalry over here, the actual cavalry unit kind of looks like it's stepping forward, like they might attack the archers. In which case, maybe I really should just have the pikemen line up behind them here. Alright, stop firing at will. I don't want them to use any more arrows on the cavalry, considering they've basically eliminated them already. here. Do this. And you know what? Give him a charge. I 
with a cavalry retreat on that side. All right, you guys pull back, and actually the archer should pull back as well. Oh, shoot. Someone already out of ammo. Oops. And they can throw javelins as they go by. Alright, you guys go ahead and open fire again. We'll let them just expend the rest of their ammunition, I guess. Let's see, let's get the cavalry lined up again. I guess we'll leave the pikes back here, since they've basically done their job for this battle. Shouldn't need them any further. Okay, there's the merchant guard, we still got the militia, the swordsmen, okay. Let's actually turn our forces to face them. Oh, did I not get these wilding swords in there? Maybe I didn't. Where are those spears of the bridge going? Let them get blasted with javelins here in a moment. Then we should be able to just run them down as they start to retreat, which I assume they will. Alright, even if they're a spare unit, they should kill them basically instantly. Right. Wavering. Yeah, three, two, one. Okay, they're gone. Ow, hey, hey, I'm the one who throws spears. You guys do not throw spears. All right, they've been eliminated, so let's bring these guys back now. All right, cavalry, get over here. So we're just gonna hit them from the rear. Meanwhile, they should continue to throw javelins in that direction. They're broken, that's good. Oh, swordsmen, get back over here. Cavalry, get back through here before the infantry gets over here. Well, that's the merchant guard again, how nice. The enemy flee from the field like frightened goats, hunt them down and slay them all. All right, you guys get in here and help out that Wilding Swords unit. You guys go ahead and unleash the javelins on the militia over there. Wow, those guys really just aren't doing anything, are they? All right, well, you guys get in there and help them out.
Let's see, let's see if we can actually bring that Wilding Swordsman unit out of there. While the... Those guys take over that fight. Alright, you guys charge out there. Alright, go get that Merchant Guard. They're wavering, so hopefully that means they'll be gone shortly. They are also wavering. The warlord of the enemy army is running like a startled goat. Hunt him. Goats make good eating. Yeah, you guys get over here and help out with these Dunedain swordsmen. Oh, never mind. Just go ahead and let him have it. Oh, did you kill them all? Oh, no, 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 wait. That guy's still there. Kill him! There we go. That was the enemy commander, so that's grand. You swordsmen can just kind of get out of the way over here. I believe this is the last of their forces. I believe the only troops that escaped were a few of the cavalry. I want to say around maybe 10 guys. All right, well, that wasn't so bad. Who took a lot of casualties? That Wilding Swordsman unit on the... I think that was probably the one on the left of the line did. Well, it looks like one of the ones maybe more in the middle did as well, too. Though not as much, obviously. Everyone else's casualties were acceptable. That Horseman unit did suffer a little more than I thought they would against that. Um, at least I'm pretty sure that was when they were fighting the... Uh, Spears of the Bridge unit, the one that just kind of came by itself, like over on our right flank, and we basically surrounded them with the Dunlundish horsemen and threw some javelins and then charged in. I think they took their casualties there because they stood and fought for a little longer than I thought they would. But yes, that should be the last of Tharbad's forces in this region, except for, again, a small unit of horse, which might have made it back to Austin Edhill. So let's get back to the campaign map and find out. Okay, they did not. It was a few enough of them that they just sort of dispersed to the four winds. So let's go ahead and take the city. They are not terribly happy to see us. Dang, there's almost no one to, uh, to kill. Is there any point in laying it desolate when there's so few people there? Uh, I guess we're just going to occupy. And let's see if we put this down. Okay, that's just barely enough. Rest. Mining colonies, the ruins of Austin Edhill. I wonder if these count as ruins that can be uh, rebuilt. Yeah, so I don't know if the runes work the same way as, I guess, the runes that we had in... Oh, Dunfada, but maybe they do. Maybe they do, and we can actually develop this province a bit. By a bit, I mean a lot. Like, what, what does all this stuff actually do? Oh, there are dwarven mines. Elven mines. Grazing grounds... I notice I can't really build anything here, so yeah, I guess that... Well, I guess that makes sense if it's an undeveloped province. Alright, but anyway, we have taken Austin Ed Hill. We do not need to take it from the pathetic, tattered remains of those filthy Dunedain riders. I hope that they all just fled into the trees and have all perished by, I don't know, maybe orcs or something that came down from the mountains. But anyway, they are of no longer any concern to us. All that is concerning to us now is Tharbad itself. 
Not just the faction, the actual city. And like I said, I was thinking of we were going to need more, but you know what? I think we should be good with the garrison that, they, that they've got there. So we'll just have Bailed go ahead oh, and attack as soon as I have finished saving the game. Now we get to see what they had, because I, I didn't actually know what unit they had units they have. Ooh, they've got longbowmen. Look at the armor on or not the armor, just the defense. Well, I mean look at the armor too, I guess, but look at the just the total defense. And their melee attack. Holy smokes, that's like a basically an infantry unit in and of themselves. The 1630. What um Right, so we've got the Merchant Guard, which we expected. I assume that's basically their only bodyguard unit, the only kind that they can have. If the Axemen, wow, these guys. The, these guys, these guys. We're going to have to definitely make our mercenaries earn their keep this time. So let's just get right into the battle. Okay, guys, welcome to the battle. So I have the battering ram, the siege towers, and the ladders here all out in front, as you can already see. But it looks like that, once again, the AI is not defending the walls at all. So what I think I'm going to do here is, is I'm just going to have the ladders go forward on their own. You know, let them get up here, and then we can just take the walls. And then... Fight our enemies. Looks like they've got the Axemen here out in the front. The Merchant Guard behind them, and then here are the dreaded Longbowmen. That's actually going to be really unfortunate that they're the unit way back there. I was hoping they would do what they did at uh, Londaire and actually put the, the archers, like, right here. That way we could just go ahead and, you know, kill them right away. Even though... Again, those archers had pretty good stats, so it's not like it would have been an easy job, but now they can kind of fire on us from a distance, which is unfortunate. Not entirely sure what we're going to do about that. That's good. Climb the walls. You guys in particular will want to hurry because uh, you're being shot. All right, but anyways, it'll take a bit for us to actually take the walls and get engaged in the battle here, so I will simply bring you guys back once we are attacking the enemy. Okay, guys, welcome back. As you can see, it looks like the longbowmen are actually leaving the settlement. Which I don't think I've ever seen the AI do that before, ever. Like... Holy smokes, I don't believe that I'm seeing what I am seeing. So we're just going to move the cavalry over in that direction. In that direction. Wait, where'd they go? Oh, there they are. Holy smokes. I guess they saw the cavalry were coming for them. Anyway, uh, this unit of Axemen has been uh, getting their cardio in, running around in circles but always coming back to the gate to get shot again. So, yeah. I've got my troops basically gathered up out here, ready to charge in. I thought they might retreat or something, but... Um, I don't know. They just keep coming forward again to be killed again. So I'm not sure what I should do. Should I just leave them to, uh their inevitable fate? Or do you think they'll figure it out that running around in circles isn't going to help them? I guess the Merchant Guard have figured it out. Oh, oh, have they? are they actually taking cover now? Oh, no, no, that's... That's not enough cover. <laughs> that is definitely not enough cover, you guys. See, the problem is, is that I'm worried that when I send my troops in, like, let's say I just sent my troops in here, had them sit here and basically intercept them. The problem is, is that the ballista on the towers here will continue to fire. And when they do, they're just as likely to... Well, not just as likely, but... I think we'll take a decent amount of friendly fire from that action.
maybe if we... Oh, I sent the cavalry over there. Um, well, I guess they can stay there. That's fine. And of course... Oh, wait, that's the merchant guard. Well, the longbowmen are, are heading towards the gate again. Will they actually leave the city this time? Wouldn't that be amazing if there's the unit that I was worried about the most just kind of left the settlement so that they could be run down by my cavalry? Now, maybe, maybe they need some bait. Maybe if we actually tell the cavalry to just kind of run over here, they'll go, Oh, look! Cavalry for us to shoot at. We must leave the walls and go shoot them. And I'm having them go that far back because I don't want the towers to be able to shoot at them. And also because the longbowmen have very long-range missiles themselves. Okay, well, I guess they're not going to do it. Either that or they're just going to keep going back and forth, back and forth. Wait, where did those axemen come from? Did they literally run all the way around again just so that they could come over here and get shot by the towers? I think they have. It is undoubtedly what has happened. All right, well, it looks like we're going to let them go merry-go-round a little while longer. So once again, I'll just let you guys go. And I will sit here and enjoy watching them run around in circles. And I will bring you back once, uh... Once the battle, well, I guess, is maybe properly joined. I guess I thought we were going to have a fight right now, but it looks like... We're just going to watch them get their cardio in. Moments before they die. Okay, guys, welcome back. So what we've got here is the enemy longbowmen have come forward and they keep taking pot shots at the wilding swords over here. We keep having them run around to try and get them to move into range of the towers, and as you can see, that is what has happened here. Now that they're a little closer, the merchant guard is kind of close back there. I'm hoping that I can maybe get them to run a little more over here. Because then we can catch them with infantry just charging in from the gate. Yes, keep, keep running. Keep running over here. Alright, what units shall we have going? Yeah, we'll just have all of our mercenaries charge in there. Well, not all of them, actually. Let's have the smaller unit here charge in. And the reason we're picking the smaller unit to do this is because they're less likely to get shot by the ballistas. But with the ballistas helping them, I imagine they might actually be able to defeat the longbowmen. Get in there. Hold them in position. Excellent. Okay, and the merchant guard is coming up too. Now the merchant guard, the uh, commander, is actually dead. Let's get these guys off of the towers here. All right, now fight the Merchant Guard. Oh, shoot. I didn't get them off the walls quickly enough. Oh, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Better idea, better idea. Get a oh, the Axeman unit, by the way. The original one, is that's all that's left after they did their merry-go-round. What we can do is we can take the gate here, and then we can have the cavalry just charge right in. Um, here, let's get this cavalry unit here. Just get forward, and we can maybe intercept the longbowmen as they go back. Mercenaries. They're there at the gate. Oh, we, we're already in. Okay. Charge in there! Okay, how are you guys doing? Oh, good. Okay, ow, 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 now we're being shot. Retreat, retreat. Let, let the gates take care of them, and if the gates don't take care of them, the cavalry will. Come on, hurry, hurry, hurry! Ah, they're gonna make it back. But not very quickly. We should be able to basically attack them immediately
Oh, what happened to the merchant guard? Oh, were they all killed? Maybe they were all killed. Oh, that works for me. There's, those are the last two. Man, those guys are tough. <laughs> they're getting hit over and over again, but they're not going down. All right, there we go. Well, that was pretty good. I don't think we suffered too many casualties. 65 compared to their 432, and they had some great units. Yeah, the Wilding Swords lost a bunch. Uh, from the towers, mostly. Though, they did take a couple of volleys from the longbowmen, too. The wolf hunters, their casualties came from the tower as well. And then, of course, you just saw the rider mercenaries take their casualties. Right there at the center of the settlement. Well, those Axemen mercenaries still did very well in the battle, too. Though, then again... They, they had lots of help from the ballistas firing from those towers, too, weakening them before the battle even started, or before, you know, the mercenaries actually got in there and started hitting them with their axes. But also, uh, even while they were engaged in combat, the towers were still firing, still providing support. Though, again, I do think a couple of those casualties there were from the towers themselves. All right, but anyway, Tharbat is ours, so... Let's take this back to the campaign map. Yes, fear us, though they don't fear us at the moment, so... Ooh, there's definitely some filthy Dunedain to be killed here! <laughs> they're, they're still unhappy. Um, excuse me. We, we just murdered you. How could you not be happy about that? Oh, we could just barely, barely get them happy with, uh, with the lowest taxes possible. Yes, you may have butchered a significant portion of our population. But, you know, we won't be happy until you make those taxes just a, a wee bit lower. <laughs> All right, but anyway, Tharbad and Austin Edhill have both been taken. They are ours now. And with that, I would say that mostly Tharbad is probably beaten. They do have six, no, five units in total between the fortress and this random host scouting party <laughs> out here. But they could have more, of course, down here in western Cardaland. So I think... Could be wise. Oh, actually, my spy can get most of the way down here. Oh, and it's it's up there. They've only got three units there, too. So, yes, Tharbad is mostly broken at this point, and so now it's just going to be a mop-up operation from this point forward. Which is fine by me. Mop-up op operation sounds good. So anyway, uh, that's all I had for you guys for now, so I will just bring you back as more of interest occurs.